of course, like all kids, you know, everybody wants to be a pilot. Uh, we soon learned that that was not going to be. Uh, they had an, an ex, ex, excess of pilots by that time. So uh, I was interested in radio in the first place anyway, so I, I ventured for the wireless operator course. And uh, they, uh, after uh, my basic training at uh, the uh, base in, in Toronto at the uh, CNE, we were, of course, housed in one of the cattle barns. Mm -hmm. And uh, then we, uh, I was sent to uh, number four wireless school in Guelph. Well, uh, the Air Force by that time had taken over the Guelph Ag Agricultural College. And uh, so we did our wireless training there and uh, uh, did our flying training f on the wireless course at, uh, I think it was called Birch which was, uh, and we flew Tiger Moms as wireless tra in training, which was a great, very great and exciting age because you were in a little two-seat cockpit, open cockpit uh, airplane uh, that I think flew at 80 miles an hour. Uh, I can remember one occasion, he said, gee, gee, we had, the pilot said, gee, we had a good exercise today. <laughs> he comes down out of the clouds and there's the base right below us. We hadn't moved. We'd just gone straight up in the air and straight back down again. So no wonder we had a good hour's uh, operation. We're practically over the antenna. <laughs> but uh, And then from there, of course, when we graduated from the wireless school, and I think I graduated seventh in my class or something like that, which was pretty good, uh, we went to uh, the number four bombing and gunnery school, which is at Fingo. And uh, I did my gunnery there. And the biggest thing in the gunnery was uh, learning the uh, Browning machine gun absolutely backwards. And uh, one of our final tests was uh, to be blindfolded to disassemble and reassemble a Browning machine gun and how it worked, which everybody did. Uh, our air training was we flew in Bolingbroke uh, uh, twin-engine bombers. And they had a uh, two-gun uh, turret, uh, which is actually called like a mid-upper. And that's where we did our firing from. And we fired at drogues towed by Lysander aircraft. And we usually carried four gunners. And each gunner had a different colored tips on his ammunition. So when the exercise was over, you could count the drogue. Uh, you knew what, who had had what hits on the drogue. And uh, then we graduated from that as uh, sergeant wireless operator air gunners. 